Coming onto the map now, Levan Siklauri of Georgia faces Konstantin of Chinikovs of uh, Latvia. This is the first of the semi finals in the under 81 kilo category. It was uh, of Chinikovs, who uh, a little bit earlier on threw uh, Takamatsu for Ippon, the, uh, the Japanese. That was uh, quite a spanking he, he dished out there. Well, he's going to have um, quite a handful with uh, Siklauri because. Uh, Sick Lowry's been knocking them over early on as well. Joined now by the head sports director of the European Judo Union, Denzine White. Uh, early evening, good, good evening, late afternoon. Denz, how are you doing? Not bad. Good evening, shall we? There's been a few good ones today. Sick Lowry, I think you picked out. He's um, really shone. But, but Gan Tufshinjago, the, uh, the Mongolian in the 81, that, another young kid. That uh, Dr. Pagva has brought over. Yeah, he's in the next semi final. He was great. Haven't seen him before. That was a really hard one with Hong, the Korean. The Koreans yeah. were screaming and shouting. But you know, there's a point where he, he did throw him. It was only a Yuko, but he got the score on the board. It's up to the Korean, you know, to then uh, come back. But like, like we've seen a, a few times, they were spending more time trying to find out a way of getting him penalized. Than to throw him, you know. Well, I think um, the Mongolian was fortunate. There were yeah, there were a few times when he, especially at the end, the last 40 seconds. Well, there were there, there were a couple of, ca of occasions where he did touch below the belt. He did he did grab the leg, oh, and, okay. and, I, and I think the commission. Oh, there was one here. Yeah, we it, saw it. Yeah, allowed it to go, and and the last time it was clear. Um, but they've been very lenient on that rule today. Um, so he got away with it and he's through to the final, uh, semi final. Oh, there's a yeah. beautiful throw from uh, Sikalori. He's been banging him over today. And that was a good win for the Latvian against the. Um, Takamatsu, yeah. Yeah, against the Japanese. He threw him beautifully. Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I, I, I'd like to look at it again later on, but I think. The referee had called Mate, and I suspect that throw was after Mate. They, they did, but when we saw, because we, that's what we thought as well, we, we were lucky enough, we, we got to see the, re, uh, the, the replay. As, he, as his technique starts, she begins to call the Mate. He was, he was in the air before he even heard it. So um, the initial thought, thinking was that the Mate uh, s slowed him up, only slowed him in the air. <laughs> he was already going. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit dubious about throws that are allowed after Mate because the guy who's been attacked, of, once he hears Mate, he starts to relax. This, this yeah, and, the, and the guy who's in the throw, he can't relax. He's going to continue doing what he's doing. But yeah, the guy who's on the end of it, he's relaxing. He's heard Mate, so he's not going to be killing himself to try and avoid the throw. No, it's a, it's a really good point. And obviously, if there's any doubt, then they're going to say that that is, um, you know, uh, there, sh there should be no score, mm. but um, and I've seen this. Uh, I've seen this happen on a couple of occasions, where the the Ippon has been allowed after Mate has been called, and I think that is one rule that needs to be revisited. Well, Sick Lowry doesn't have to worry about that now. He's uh, Wazari up at the moment. There's uh, just a little under two minutes to go. If Chinikovs hasn't found a way yet to test him. Well, there's a minute and 41 left and uh, Sikolari seems to be in command here. He just picked up a Shido <laughs> now for yeah. some he, gripping infringement. He, he's trying to um, suggest that he's unaware of, of how he could possibly have been found guilty of um, a gripping infringement there. But he was, <laughs> he was so stiff with that left hand of oh, Chinikos. <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing was, he wasn't looking to do anything with it. That was just held and blocked. Yeah. You know. Of Sinikovs so. must be an awkward one to fight against. He's so tall. Um, you know, he's noticeably taller than all most of the, the majority of other in the 81s. 81s. Yeah.
very rangy. It's got the reach, long legs. I think the um, the Canadian boy, um, similar similar yeah. shape, uh, isn't hasn't he? The Canadian, he he's done very thin well. Thin though, doesn't he? He looks a bit on the thin side. Sig Lowry here is making a bit of a mistake. He, he's looking tired. He's, he's not looking positive. He's already had the one warning. He doesn't want to risk picking up a penalty now and then be on the edge. Because if there's one more, then it goes into golden score. Well, he's only got 40 seconds now to uh, clinch the match. Yeah, he's gone past that point now. They won't give him two in this short space of time. He's under pressure there, though. He's uh, allowed yeah. himself to be backed up into the mm. corner. He's going to have to watch that. 30 and seconds uh, left. Latvian taking the long way around <laughs> to <laughs> gather his thoughts, think about what he's going to do in this last 30 seconds to pull this fight out of the fire. Attacks again with Anucci Mata. Now the hips. But, uh, the referee's called Mate. That's well out. Sikolari go through the goes through the advertising board. Nicholas Gill helping out with the uh, advertising arrangements. Nice uh, counter there yeah, from Sikolari. That was better, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good work from him. Eleven seconds left, and that was that, that was the one attack that he needed, just to avoid getting wound up. But in any case, he was he was never going to give up two penalties in the uh, the 30 or 40 seconds that remained. Obsinikov knows it's gone from him. And. Uh, I think Peter Seisenbacher, the head coach for Georgia, will be well pleased with that. Having a fighter in the final today. I know he was a bit disappointed about not having any 73 go through in yesterday's competition. You may, make, you may make up for it today. Levan Siklauri it is who makes his way into the final. Well, we're going to find out who it is that uh, he'll meet in that final because the next semi-final is uh, primed and ready to go. Gan Tufshinjan.